Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news, update, and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Bronco Sport. So we are working our way through our complete guide videos. We cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages and standalone options in a video for each of the different trim levels. We've done one on the Big Ben. We are now come to the Heritage Edition, which is continued for 24. So this is a, con a continued on here. And so this is a cool package. And a lot of people were, were ordering them uh, last year in 23. And so let's go over that. Uh, there are a few changes for this year. So some people may be looking, hey, what's you know different? We did a video on what's different between the different trim levels that's not available. Uh, what was available in 23, not available in 24, and what's new for 24. So you can check that video out if you just want to see that difference because there's not a lot of difference on the Heritage Edition. But for those wanting a 24 and wanting to and getting this video, let's go ahead and deliver you guys the content on this. Now, don't forget, you can order 2024 Ford Bronco Sport right now. So find a good local dealership that you can uh, get uh, do. And if you're struggling for that or you want to order from us, we are taking orders. So be more information about our YouTube special at the end of the video. We have timestamps for that as well as for all the different parts of this video. So feel free to check those out uh, here in this. And uh, so let's go ahead and dive in and talk about some of these features here. Uh, don't forget to share this video if you can and smash that like button. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to be subscribed and click that uh the notification bell so that way you may notify next time we have another video uploaded to the channel so we're going to dive in start talking about mechanical features first for this um and we're going to you know let me get over here so you can see my screen so for this year we do have the big bend trim the heritage freewheeling uh we have outer banks and we have badlands edition we are talking about the heritage edition 33 700 before destination and delivery for this edition and uh inspired by the original 1966 bronco uh, gives you some of the different heritage look to it. So let's click on this to start our build and go, talk about some of the mechanical features first on this. Now with this, uh, this will come standard, the only engine available, just like the Big Ben trim. In fact, the Heritage Edition takes a lot of um, cues from the Big Ben and just has some different distinct look to it. Uh, and that means it's going to come with the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology. It means you go to a stoplight, stop sign, Press that brake, and it's going to shut the vehicle off. When you let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Um, you can deactivate that for each engine cycle if you'd like to as well. Also, 8-speed automatic transmission is going to be included with this as well. And you're going to also get included is four-wheel drive system is going to be standard equipment. This does have the train management system with the five GOAT modes, just like with the Big Ben, a normal, an eco, a sport, slippery, and sand mode. So this is a capable, it has your, your standard Bronco Sport uh, suspension system that's capable of going off-road. Front and rear stabilizer bars included. Electric parking brake as well includes the auto hold feature so you can hold that brake if you're on a stoplight, stop sign, uh, or if you're wanting to transition the brake to the gas. It does have hill start assist, so uh, that way you won't drift back, but stand on that hill so that you can go to the gas pedal um, as well. Electronic uh, traction control is going to be included. You get electronic brake assist as well. And the electric power assist steering, we call it E-Pass. That makes it a little bit easier because if you're, uh, this allows you to be electronically controlled. So that way it's going to make it easier to steer the vehicle without having to use your gas uh, to be able to, to, uh, to power that, uh, which makes it easier turning those steering wheel in those parking lots and such. And I really don't have a lot of clips for this stuff, but we do have, just to kind of go over it, we do have... Um, airbags so in the front you'll have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle you do have a driver knee airbag as well that's going to deploy down an airbag protect the driver from that front collision and that the column the console or the column steering column uh, being uh, thrust down in that front collision you have front seat side front seat mounted side impact airbags which means those are mounted onto the seat and it'll deploy if there's a side collision there and help protect the, the occupants and the front seats safety canopy airbag that's a safe that's a side curtain airbag with a rollover sensor that's going to come down <laughs> i can't see my hand come down over to the side so if it, the, it's going to roll over it's to pull that down to help the goal on that is to, to uh, put that in front of the glass in front of the windows before it any of the body kind of breaks because typically you're going to have sheet metal and glass wanting to come in and that'll help protect it and, and keep it out and keep you safe in there as well as protect your head and such also we do have 
Um, advanced track with roll stability control. So the whole goal, goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. Going to that curve maybe too fast or slick outside, it'll help keep you going where you want to. SOS post-crash alert system. So if you are in an accident off the side of the road, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, and let you know that someone needs to come to your safety or let others know, I should say. Also, 911 Assist allows you with your Bluetooth-enabled phone to be able to call 911 directly with that phone there if you are not able to get to your phone. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So if you're going along, uh, it's going to have a it's going to have dynamic brake support, uh, collision warning. So if you're going at certain speeds, the car in front of you is going slower than you, or they're stopped, and you would hit them, it's going to alert you and let you know you need to you need to hit your brakes. Preloads the brakes as well, so you can stop even faster. If you are in an accident, there is post-collision braking as well that's going to break the vehicle. Sometimes people forget to put it in park. It's just one of those things. You just had an accident. You're kind of freaking out and everything. Uh, it'll help break the vehicle for you. And if you're unconscious, too, a uh, situation like that. So a couple other things. You do have lane keeping system that will help keep you in your lane. So you have the uh, dri driver alert feature. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to alert you and let you know that you're doing that and maybe maybe you're falling asleep, that kind of thing. Also, you do have lane keeping aid system and alert system. So two different ways they use. You can use them together if you want or separately. The alert system will allow you to leave your lane, but when you go over those lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will help keep you in your lane. Uh, so you can use those together. What it'll do is when you get over to the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel but still leave you in your lane. So you can use those one or the other or both together. Uh, so we do have perimeter alarms. So when you have the vehicle locked up, it's going to put a perimeter alarm on the vehicle. So if someone tries to break glass, get inside and such, it's going to set that alarm off. Somebody shakes it, moves it, and that kind of thing. Uh, then it's going to do that same thing. Also, you do have secure lock, passive, and the theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. So that helps protect it from being started without the key. So there you go. That's all of our safety features. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, exterior of the vehicle here. And let's go on over to exterior. We're going to use some of these images to give us a good look. You can probably see already there is a distinct difference this year than last year. Uh, the wording in the order guide has changed as well. So let's, let's dive in and we'll get to that in just a second. So acoustic laminate windshield start up here. And that's two pieces of glass with plastic in between. It's going to make it a little bit quieter in the vehicle, but also adhere things. So if something comes in and hits it, it's going to keep it together so it doesn't break and come into the vehicle. Also the grill. So you'll notice it is still an Oxford white grill here with the Bronco uh, lettering, but the lettering is different this year. You notice I, I looked at this and said, wait a minute, that's not the same as it was last year. Last year was a race red letters. Uh, this year it is uh, wording it that it's with Bronco molded in red, unique color grill. So similar to the same, the way that it looks like to the new freewheeling edition, the difference is the color of the actual grill behind the letters. Uh, so I'm going to show you an image of that, a close up because this doesn't get us close enough on this. Uh, so different look this year. So uh, I assume this is updated and incorrect. Uh, I have to with Ford just to make sure. Front bumper is going to be a black molded in color. So it's going to take that color and put it in the mold. Uh, makes it more durable that way. And you don't have to worry about paint chipping or anything like that. You do have active grill shutters that will open and close when it needs to allow for airflow in to help cool off that engine. We do have configurable daytime running lights as well on this. So there'll be you can configure those to be on during the daytime. LED headlights as well. Automatic feature. I don't have that in my notes, but I believe that's a feature on this. So if you have in the auto setting, they're going to come on automatic when it gets dark. Shut off when it gets light. LED fog lights as well. You can see that standard equipment on these. Uh, there you go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Big Ben does not get that. Uh, so you'll have that. Also auto high beam. So it'll come on. Those headlights will come on. Uh, the high beams will come on if it's dark enough outside. There, you're in the city lights or someone approaches you, it's going to shut them off. That is something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Uh, let's talk about these wheels. They're 18 in, or 17 inch Oxford white painted aluminum wheel. So pretty cool. So it looks a lot like your uh, Badlands wheel, but it's going to be painted white instead. Uh, give it that retro look here. All terrain tire is going to come included with this as well. So instead of the all season tire on the Big Ben, individual individual tire pr tire pressure monitoring system. Excuse me. Uh, so it's going to monitor the tire pressure on all those tires. You can be able to see that on your productivity screen as well as in the app, which we'll talk about later. Four wheel disc brakes as well with ABS. That's going to be included. We do have uh, wheel lip moldings. So let's move this over here to the side. So uh, here on the front, molded in black. 
for the front bumper as well as the wheel lip molding, the lower rocker molding as well, coming around the other wheel lip molding and in, even into the back bumper as well. So it's going to make more durable. So it's made to go off road and it's going to hold up better that way uh, with it uh, like that. Also, we do have the, uh, of course, the mirrors are a power heated glass. A manual fold and it'll have the molded in black on the mirror caps as well like we do see with the big bin you'll have the bliss blind spot information system with cross traffic alert so if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time back up cross traffic alert someone crosses your path behind you it's going to alert you as well and let you know that someone's crossing your path behind you series of tones and everything fender badge as well will be dedicated uh should be special for this one as well um, your door handles going to be black molded in color as well. Like the big Ben trim does get unique side decals, as you can see coming across here with the Bronco in there. So pretty cool, unique look. You're going to see the white Oxford white painted roof as well. So it gives it a nice distinct look and you're going to get a black in here in the pillars. So give it a nice look. So this happens to be black in color. We change the color. You'll see uh, that this is going to be one color. This will be black in there, and that will be white. That's in, uh, for every vehicle. Roof rack side rails will be molded in black as well. For that, I believe they're a unique look and different uh, from the others, uh, from some of the others. Intelligent access as well with remote control, unlock and lock for the vehicle. So you can get in there, put your hands in the door handle, and automatically unlock the vehicle without you having to get the keys out of the vehicle. Um, so there you go. Um, you have the, um, privacy glass in the back windows, back quarter windows and back glass keeps it cooler for everybody. And just looks nice on the vehicle. You do get the easy fuel capless filler door. So you just press that door, open it up. No cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands or anything like that. Just put the nozzle in, fill it up, take it out, shut the door when you're done. Uh, child safety lock on these doors as well. So you don't have to worry about uh, then you can lock those out so that way you can open those. They won't be able to open those doors when you have the vehicle turned off. On the back, center high mounted stoplight up here, a third brake light. So that's, uh, you can have that on. People or when you brake, it's your third brake light. So also LED tail lights back here as well on the vehicle. Rear wiper on this, no rear defrost this year as well as last year. We do have this glass that can pop separate manual. Uh, from the lift gate itself and we do have manual lift gate too on this vehicle too uh, rear view camera so as you're backing up you're going to be able to see behind you as you get closer to anything and again uh, the rear bumper is going to be molded in black with the uh, the reflectors on there as well you also see the hitch here so standard equipment on this is the class 2 trailer tow package with trailer sway control hitch four pin wiring full size spare is also included with this now when you open up we're going to talk about some things when you open up that lift gate you're going to see now, floodlights are going to be inside on the rear on the door as well. Self, you can uh, move those around so you can see that. Use that on the campsite. Bottle door openers are going to be located in the hatch on the passenger side over there. Rubberized cargo flooring, rubberized seat backs as well. Uh, so you can be able to wash that out in a sense inside if you get it dirty. Um, we do have the latch system. I'm going to talk about it here because this is where I, I put this in. Uh, that's There are some hooks on the back of the seat so you can latch that in and securely fasten those down. For, uh, for our kids in the booster seats, the front or rear-facing booster seats. So that way you don't have to take those out all the time. And uh, and you don't have to use the shoulder harnesses either. Full-size spares I mentioned earlier uh, do have the rear car. And that's going to be in underneath the flooring, by the way. Uh, this have a rear cargo area light as well in there. So you can be able to see inside it. You do have also PowerPoint in there. And cargo tie-downs, carabiner hooks and loops on both sides. You're going to have four of those, two on each side of the vehicle there. Now, let's move to the interior and talk about the unique interior styling and look to this. Carpet flooring, front and rear for this. Also, floor mats that are going to be carpeted with the Bronco Sport lettering on there for the front. Uh, unique interior. As you can see here, you're going to be uh, painted registers. They're going to be a uh, navy pier interior look. Oxford white painted door ring, as you can see right along there, um, as well as your instrument panel bend as well is going to be painted white and coming across there a very unique look a unique armrest as well uh, for this navy pier uh, right here uh, does look really cool and the center console lid those armrests and center console lid as well so pretty cool unique look navy pier instrument panel uh, as well uh, up in here on this side too and around the register so pretty cool unique look also check out your seats it's going to be the plaid cloth seats with the easy clean 
uh, a feature there for that. So it's a real going to be nice and easy to clean, but you get that cla the, the plaid look to it, like the retro look for you. The seat, uh, the driver's seat is a six-way manual driver's seat that goes forward and back, up and down, and manual recline. Four-way manual passenger seat with forward and back and manual recline for it. 60-40 split bench seat back here, so you can just you can lay that down. Not completely fold flat, but pretty close. You do have an armrest that comes down with two cup holders in it as well out of the middle. Uh, 40 uh, little, little seat there in the middle. Also uh, for that. You do get the Molly strap system that's going to be on the back of those front seats as well. So you can hook those carabiner hooks and such onto those. Also in the back of the console, you're going to get vents on the back as well as the USB type A and C power uh, uh, outlets back there as well for you. Now for the windows, you're going to get power windows. Uh, you're going to get a front one touch down feature for the driver's window. Uh, so that just allows you to be able to hard press it down and then let go, and it's going to roll that window down. you got to uh, pull them up as well as the other three windows do not work that same way. You're going to have to hold it uh, for going down, down and up. Power door locks as well. Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so just pull the lever underneath, and it'll go up and down, forward and back for you. Uh, it does have your cruise control on the steering wheel as well as the D-pad uh, for this 4.2 uh, instrument uh, productivity screen there. Speedometer and tachometer there as well for you. Push button starts located just underneath that, that left register right there. Uh, you also have the electronic automatic temperature control. Uh, everybody has the same temperature, but at least it's electronically controlled with that temperature right there. AM, FM, six-speaker audio sound system, Sirius XM satellite radio, Sync 3 system, 8-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. Uh, so you can use the maps from Google as well as for Android's uh, version of that. Uh, we do have day night mirror as well right there. And uh, so that means you just flip that if, you know, when it gets nighttime. So the cars don't uh, blind you with those lights behind you overhead console with a sunglass and bin. Uh, you can see that up here, uh, map lights are right up there as well. And visors that can come down and even rotate to the side as well there. Um, down in the media hub area, you're going to have a PowerPoint in there. That's that round one that people use. It's 12 volt, as well as a USB type A and C to plug in those uh, devices, those phones. You can put your phone down in there uh, pretty nice and easy. Rotor dial, shifter knob, electric parking brake is going to be located there in your auto hold as well. And your goat mode is right back there. You can't really see it in this image. Two cup holders, console as well with storage in there, as well as storage here. And don't forget, you do have the Ford Pass Connect as well. It allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. It's a free app you download. Uh, connect your phone in there. You can unlock and lock it from anywhere. Remote start it from anywhere. Schedule remote start times. See the tire pressure on your tires as well as the fuel you have in your vehicle. And also where it's located all using that app, which is very convenient and uh, for you to use. Uh, so that is all of our standard equipment there. Now let's get into some of these packages down here uh, that are available on this. Now let's talk about some color options that are available for you on the Heritage Edition. Uh, five color options here. Uh, we do have Race Red. And these are uh, the reason there's only five is because it's trying to give you, or actually this is Hot Pepper Red. Um, and that's a uh, tinted clear coat. That's $4.95 little co extra cost for that clear coat. Uh, they are kind of sticking to see these because these are kind of more heritage aligned colors here for you. Also, we do have the carbonized gray, as you can see what that looks like with there. So that is no cost for that color. Cactus gray, I have to give you a better look. That is not the color cactus gray. They've gotten it wrong on almost all of these. Um, and uh, so anyway, cactus gray is not look like that. Uh, we'll get you a, a, a better picture of that. Uh, we don't uh, have an, the Robin's Egg Blue, $9.95. That is a tri-coat. Uh, looks beautiful, and it's a very special. A uh, lot of people getting this color because that is that heritage look here. A little lighter than that, but pretty close to that color. And then we do have the Shadow Black that we've been kind of show you already with this as well. So a couple different colors options for you. White is not available because of the heritage look here, uh, as well as some others. Uh, but there you go. Those are color options for this year now let's go ahead and talk about the copilot 360 assist plus package now this package is actually available on all trim levels uh so i'll probably include this clip on all of them it makes it a little bit easier for uh, making these videos so as you can see there 895 is the price for this package and i think it is a really good value on that because on this one here this is where you're getting your adaptive cruise control with stop and go lane centering evasive steering assist and your uh, voice activated navigation system 
um, with the speed sign recognition as well. So that's a lot of features. And I like this because this basically allows you to add this Copilot 360 Assist and have your adaptive cruise on all of your Bronco Sport trim levels. Something I've been begging um, uh, Ford to do with the Maverick since it was launched is to make this available on the XLT trim, which is not. You have to go clear up to Lariat trim and spend a lot of money. And uh, Bronco uh, on the Bronco Sport, you're able to get this package on any trim level. So this, let's break this down between all of them. Show your adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. So let's talk about that first. Adaptive cruise means that you can actually go with traditional cruise like you normally use it or adaptive, which means when you set that cruise, you're going to go along. If someone's going you know, slower than you and you come up uh, behind them, it's going to slow you down to go their speed and tell you it's safe for you to resume. Then it's going to speed you back up. So that's a, a great feature to have. Also helps keep you, it brings you a complete stop as well. So if you're going along, it'll help. Uh, if there's someone going and you get in your stop and go traffic, bring it to complete stop. And then when they start going, you start going, which is great. Also lane centering helps keep you in the center of your lane, which is a great feature to have. So it's a little different than lane keeping, which can be activated um, with or without your cruise. This is dependent on your cruise with the adaptive cruise and keeps you in the center of your lane. So you can really, there's actually times where you could take your hands off the steering wheel because it's going to keep you in that lane. It's just one step from being on that blue cruise, right? Capability there. Also evasive steering assist. So if you're not able to stop in time, uh, with the vehicle you need to avoid somebody it's going to assist in the steering so you can steer around them easily so it's going to make it easier to steer uh, we also do get the voice activated navigation system with this uh, so that's going to be included as well um, not sure the length of that um, some of the vehicles i know it's been they've changed it to one year um, this actually says uh, you're going to get the sirius xm traffic link um, for five year subscription with this traffic and travel link uh, looks like you get the navigation is just going to be included. So it doesn't it doesn't have a, a term there. So that's pretty cool. So navigation, there you go. And speed sign recognition goes along with your cruise control. So if you're going along and you set that cruise for, let's say the speed uh, is 70, you set your cruise at 75, five over, and you can set that tolerance. If that speed zone changes like 65, you'll slow down to six to 70 miles an hour. So that really helps. And, you know, maybe if you didn't realize the speed changed, you're talking, whatever, um, that kind of helps from getting tickets, uh, safety as well, and that kind of thing. So uh, I think those are great. You can adjust those in your settings. So Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package available on all your Bronco Sport trim levels. So now let's talk about the convenience package. Now this package actually is available on the Big Ben trim. It actually says in here Big Ben, but also available on the Heritage Edition and also available on the new freewheeling package our freewheeling edition. So this package is available on three different trim levels. Uh, so this package includes some great features. So again, convenience features, right? So this, this uh, let's go over these real quick. Now, uh, $17.85, I assume it's going to be the same price. It might be a little cheaper on the Heritage Edition since the LED fog lights are actually included in the Heritage Edition. Uh, but on the uh, for the Big Ben and the Free Willing Edition, you will also get the LED fog lights included as part of this package. You're also going to get the eight-way power driver seat that will electronically allow you to go forward and back, up and down, power recline, and give you power lumbar. So that's that upgrades that driver's seat for you to be electronically controlled. Also, heated seat for the driver and front passenger, which would be nice to have. And with those cloth seats, going to heat up very, very fast for that. Also, your steering wheel. You're going to premium wrapped steering wheel as well. So I like this. So upgrades from that, that polyurethane steering wheel to a, a premium wrapped steering wheel. Um, and then we do have the wireless charging pad. So that is going to be located down in the media hub area by those little outlets down there underneath your climate control. You just put your phone. I mentioned earlier about putting your phone in there. Um, that is where you put it down in there and it wireless to charge your phone. Also, universal garage door openers. Those are going to be on the driver's visor. So you can program up to three different transmitters, garage doors. If you have multiple garage doors, you can program both of them. Um, so you're going to have those on there as well. And then you're going to have the re rear parking sensors that go along with the rear view camera. So as you're backing up, you're going to build a seat behind you, but now you're going to also get alerted if you get too close to anything. Again, 1785 for most of your, on um, most of your trim levels, the convenience package, very, very good package. Uh, a lot of people will add this to their vehicle. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the different optional equipment. Now we've got through the packages and standalone options. Um, or I mean the standard equipment and your packages. Let's talk about some different options for you. Uh, no optional wheel. That is your only wheel available entire combination here from the factory. 
moving down, we'll talk about some of these that are ones that maybe you want to think about, and we'll uh, make sure we check them off as we go through these as well here for us. Now, uh, moving down, we do have the underbody protection, off-road protection that is available. Optional equipment on this. It's uh, $395 if you want that, and that will help protect it. Um, doesn't really show you what it looks like, but it should protect your uh, front skid plate engine and maybe even your fuel tank back there. doesn't really uh, disclose what all it includes on that, but underbody protection is available for you. All right, there. We do have front and rear splash guards, so it doesn't show an image of that, but they are going to be the molded in black material just like your bumpers here and uh so those are available i'm going to tell you there's another mud flap kit available uh the splash guards are something that would be put on at the factory they're a um ford accessories um but will a lot of times hold up your builds so that does take time and they can only do some money so that the, the percentage of that's real low i would probably leave it off let your dealership install it or install it yourself and get them through ford accessories website now we have a couple different fender flare kits if you want so we have a uh, four 580 it's going to be the molded in black right here that you see that it's going to be it does say it's uh, pre-assembled for you but um i have it is a dealer installed option so technically it's not pre-assembled the dealer would ship would put that on there for you uh so there you go that's an option not available with your mud flap kit which we haven't talked about yet we'll talk about pretty soon Fender Flare Kit number two is actually similar, bolt-on style, but it's going to be painted. So it's unassemble and paintable. So that means the dealership would paint that for you and uh, as well. So I'm not sure if they're going to charge extra for that, but 1160 is what that's supposed to be. I assume since it's going to be smooth and paintable that they'll do that for you. Uh, again, not available with your mud flap kits as well. So, all right, we do have this lift gate. Um, curtain here, which is also a dealer installed option. Basically, the dealership is going to give it to you. Get that through Ford Accessories. I wouldn't put it on your build if I were you. You can see what that looks like. So you can change clothes and such in there. And uh, so not a bad little option for you. Uh, we do have this also engine block heater. That is a factory installed option that I would definitely get. That uh, kind of goes in there. So that way you can plug that in. So if you you know need live in a cold weather state, leave the vehicle outside. And that will assist in it starting easier in the mornings. We do have a roof rack rail crossbar one. Uh, the reason it's called, there's two different types that they make. This is the one for the uh, this for the uh, Heritage Edition, Big Ben, and Free Willing Edition. Uh, $400 for that. Now, if you're thinking of getting the tent or something like that on there, you might look at whatever, wherever you get your tent and see that this can handle the load for that. This is mainly for putting luggage and stuff on there. Uh, or if you just want that different, unique look to it, you can as well. Now, mud flap kit, we have a front, a rear, and a front and rear option. So 360 for the front, 340 for the back, or 680 for both. <clears throat> so you do get a $20 discount if you get them together. <laughs> so you go more of a uh, kind of uh, more weather type uh, material, um, more durable. It moves a little bit and that kind of thing. So that is a different look to it. it says Bronco on it. So that is available. Again, not available with your fender flare kits. Don't forget that. Not available with your splash guards either. And those are dealership installed. So they would come to the dealership ahead of time. They would install it. So I'd probably, if I do, order it through Ford Accessories through your dealership and have them install it, uh, that shouldn't uh, hold up your build that way. Uh, it might make it work better. Now, moving to the interior, we do have the power moonroof. Now, this moonroof is 920. Uh, does uh, not available the center console. Okay, no, we're not talking about this equipment, this package. So this is um, um, going to be available for you. And they still have wording in here from last year. Uh, Heritage Limited is not available this year. That's kind of funny. Okay, so this does have inquire, require the convenience package for the Heritage Edition to get this power moonroof. Uh, but it is available that way as a standalone option otherwise. But does require the convenience package for you. So you want to make sure you order that. Um, also, we do have the cargo mat. Uh, and what's uh, so there you go. You can add that mat in there. So uh, that's available for you as well. So if you want to get the cargo mats, uh, that is a Ford accessory, but Ford would put it in the vehicle when they ship it out. And I didn't see last year that this held up builds. So you could should be able to get that on your order. Now, these next three things are things I would encourage you to wait and get through Ford accessories because they're nothing. They're considered deal installed options but it's nothing the dealership really does other than give you the box of stuff. Um, so it's going to include the on-road kit is 80 bucks and includes uh, jumper cables and some things like that, a multi-tool, tool, a flashlight and such. The off-road kit is going to give you, you know, a shovel, uh, some other things, fire extinguisher, different things like that to help you get out of that off-road jam you put yourself into. <laughs> also, first aid kit is going to give you band-aids, gauze, that kind of stuff. 
uh, for you. Again, all three of those are available through Ford Accessories website, and I would encourage you to get them that way instead of taking the chance to hold up your build by including them on your order. Uh, the interior bike rack here is 280. So again, this in here available, you can, like you see, dealer installed option on this as well. Um, so this is something you can get uh, uh, as well if you want to. And the dealership would uh, basically put it in your vehicle uh, for you uh, that way. So there you go. There it is. I'm check marking and my check marks are going into the other uh, lines there. Okay. We do have the uh, floor liners front and rear with carpeted mats or front and rear without carpeted mats. So if you know you're not going to use them, but you want the floor liners, go with the one without. It's 160, 200 if you want the mats. So those are also Ford accessories, but Ford will throw them in your vehicle before they ship it out. Has not held up any builds yet on these. So you should be good to go with that. Cargo management system is a factory installed option. 195 for that gives you the shelf divider as well as table system. Pretty cool. Uh, that is something uh, I recommend for you. Uh, I ordered mine. I didn't think I was going to take delivery of it. Now I'm kind of wishing I had the cargo management system with that because they actually put a bracket on the side for you for that. Um, but that is a pretty cool little system for you uh, there. I, I definitely recommend you getting that if you're thinking about needing it. Also the center console vault with the coded lock. Uh, $400 for that uh, available on this. Uh, no restrictions there for the uh, Heritage Edition. And uh, like you see, the dealership does install this as well um, when it gets in there. And uh, they can they can do that for you. Uh, but if you want to lock that up, keep some valuables in there uh, so that that way they can't get to it without the combination, then that's a great accessory to add to your vehicle. So there you go. That is all the uh, core standard equipment, different packages, standalone options, all available for the Heritage Edition for 2024 Bronco Sport. So hope you guys didn't like this. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget, order banks are open up now. Go to your good local dealership and put, put in that order for that. A couple different tips for you. If you're wanting, when you're going and talking to that dealership, just things to remember. And one is ask them what they're going to price the vehicle. Uh, what are they, what's MSRP going to come to? Are they going to price it over and under? Uh, also ask them a little bit about how, if they know about price protection. So what price protection does is that Ford will protect the price for you as well as the incentives, by the way, for when you order the vehicle. So whatever the incentives were, the price was Ford is going to lock that in for you and give you that price. Um, there are some, the dealerships have to have some accountability on this though, because a lot of times there might be some price increases from the time you ordered from the time it comes in. Incentives might change and your dealership needs to know exactly how incentive protection and price protection works to make sure you get that honored for you. So you might want to ask them a little bit about that and make sure they know a little bit how that policy works. As long as the person that ordered the vehicle buys the vehicle, they get the incentive protection as well as the price protection for your vehicle. So keep ask that. Also ask them what their dealer fees are going to be, including if there's anything they add to their vehicle, any aftermarket things they add to the vehicle as well. So you might want to ask them that too, so that that way uh, you kind of know get a heads up of what's going on when that vehicle comes in. We, we are taking orders. Uh, we are a Bronco Sport dealer here. So, uh, which means that we can order them and easily get these vehicles. Uh, we get a lot of allocations, about eight to 10 every month. And uh, we have plenty uh, available orders to be able to get yours ordered pretty quickly. And we do have a special uh, YouTube offer that we have. And that is if you finance a vehicle with us at standard rates, then we will give you up to $1,000 of shipping cost. So if you want to have it shipped from us to you, we can do that. So you don't even need to take a step a foot take a step into the dealership, I should say. Uh, also, if you do want to come and pick up the vehicle and make a road trip out of it, you can do that. We'll pay up to thousand dollars of your travel expenses. That means uh, flight costs for your flight. So airfare, uh, gas, and hotel getting back to your uh, your home location, your home base there. And so we'll uh, cover up to $1,000 of that cost as well. So that's something else. If you want to take advantage of it, you can reach out, put an order room with us, just call. We actually have building price on our website. You can go in there, fill that out, fill out your name and everything. We'll get that order. We'll reach out to you and can place your order for you. So that's the probably the easiest way to do that. Or you can just give us a call if you want to. So, uh, all right. So thank you very much. Again, this video isn't really necessarily about ordering from us, but you know, you, there's some great local dealerships order from them. But if you're wanting to order from us, we will uh, gladly take your order and be able to give you some helpful tips as well. If we notice there's some, some constraints on something, we do a live stream every Tuesday night. We can help you out with that information and so that you can get your vehicle as quick as possible with us as well. So, again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to be looking for the other ones. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified next with another video uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you on that next video.